Shea Bear 1000 here. Today we've got another mountain house review. We're going to try the beef stew. And let's see how good that tastes. Okay guys, so here we've got we've got our mountain house our beef stew um, the last one was the stroganoff okay I'll show you the instructions are identically the same you just add you open this up you add two cups of water uh, you wait eight to nine minutes um, I don't like I like mine a little thicker so I've only boiled up uh, one and three quarters cup for this one I let it boil for minutes so it's probably down to about a cup and a half but it calls for two cups. Now I'm going to give you the nutrition facts here. You guys can pause that and read them. Move it up a little bit for you. So you can read those. Alright. So let's open this up. Again, pretty much you know the same on all of these. You can open it up at the tear point. And See, we gotta take our little, our little deal out. I'll show you the inside of here. Okay, that's what it looks like. Okay, so we're gonna put that. We're gonna put our water in. It's very hot, so be be careful. Shouldn't have to tell you guys that. But if somebody gets burnt, they'll say, "Well, Shaber didn't say to be careful." We're going to go ahead and pour this in here. All right. There we go. And we're going to give it a stir. Get everything all nice and moist. I'll tell you what, that smells good. Alright, we've got a nice little stir going on there. Good. Okay, I'll show you what it looks like now and then after. It looks like all stirred up. Okay, now let's zip our pouch up here. Just uh, like, again, just like a just like a Ziploc baggie. There. Now, when we come back going to be instantaneously for you guys but for me it's going to take about eight minutes so why are you not focusing okay so let's give it eight minutes and give it a shot see how well this tastes okay guys it's been eight minutes I'm trying to get I know this light behind me sucks and I'm sorry but let's open this up and see what we've got here get you turned around here to where you can see So let's stir this up, and I'll show you again. Now that's the way I like my beef stew. It's nice and thick and hearty. Let me show you what uh, we're looking at here. All right, so again, sorry for the light. Uh, let's give us a shot. Still pretty hot though. There's little, little tiny hunks of beef. I got a little bit of everything. There's some beef in there, some peas, um, carrots. Looks like I think there's some corn in there. Um, potatoes. So let's give us a shot. Yeah, there's corn in there. It's very good. Um, yeah, it's uh, it doesn't really taste like homemade uh, per se. It's kind of got like a hint. Uh, of course, it's not homemade. I know that, guys. But 
to my haters out there, I know it's not homemade, but like beef stroganoff had a hint of homemade flavor to it. This, this has a hint of flavor, like almost like a homemade, you know, only the, the beefs, the beef hunks are, are tiny, but that's okay because there's plenty of them in here. Mmm. Just the right amount of salt. So again, for the beef stew, two thumbs up. I will give it, I'm going to give it an eight as well. Again, the prices, nope, they suck. The price is not going to change, I don't think, on any of these. It may vary a dollar or two, but still, it's just... Uh, and store to store may vary, but they're pretty much the same price, $9.68 or whatever. Um, Ohio, Walmarts, they, they were pretty much about the same, $9.60 some cents. Uh, so, so far we've done the, uh, the stroganoff and the beef stew. I know there's a teriyaki in there, um, with rice, which Monkey really likes. So, yeah, chicken teriyaki with rice. Monkey likes rice. I'm saving these for her to do with me. But she's got a long day today, so uh, I'm having a late lunch. It's uh, about 20 minutes after 2 because, well, you'll see the video. I was working on, some, working on something, so. But, yeah, um, the, the flavor so far... Uh, like when we tried the uh, the biscuits and gravy, they were good. Um, she, I don't know if she did a review on it, but she did. What'd she do? Some kind of dessert, maybe, or something. Uh, she did something. Uh, now it was a little cheaper. It was uh, it was like four dollars and something. Of course, it, it was a small portion, but she really liked it. I don't know if she did a review on it or not. But so we're going to go ahead and go through these. And we'll keep this going for a few episodes, and it'll also be under Shea, it'll be under Chef Shea Bear and uh, of course the Mountain House review uh, and product reviews. I'll put it under. So anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Again, two thumbs up. I give it an eight. And remember, they are not sponsoring me. I'm doing this on my own free will. Um, the flavor is good. The price sucks. Again, this is just my opinion. Uh, somebody might not like it, or somebody might like it even more. Um, you know, every everyone's different. But just to give you an idea, price-wise, I, I just I just can't see going and paying. I I just won't. I'm not going to do that. Um, not when there's other stuff out there, you know, sustainable stuff that you can just add water to. Some stuff you can just eat right out of the damn can. Uh, but cans are bulky and they're heavier. But anyway, guys, uh, Shea Bear, the myth, the man, the legend. I'm gone for now. Y'all have a great weekend. Appreciate you watching. Bye-bye and take care.